This is one of the test problems which is seen in test papers many times and it is from derivatives of derivatives and we are trying to relate position velocity and acceleration. So my suggestion is that you should pause the video after reading this question and then answer it yourself. After you have answered then look into my suggestions. The question is the position function of a car is given by s of t equals to t to the power of 4 minus 8t cube minus 270t square t greater than or equal to 0 where t is measured in seconds and s in meters. And you need to find a when the car is at rest b find the acceleration after 5 seconds and c at what time a motorist did apply brakes when he or she saw a stop sign. Now here are my suggestions. When the car is at rest, so the car will be at rest when the velocity is zero. So let's find out the derivative of the position function given to us since velocity is equals to derivative of the position function, right? So which will be 4t cube minus 3 times 8 is 24t square minus 540t, right? Now to find when is velocity at zero or the position of the car is at rest, let's factor and equate its zeros. So we can factor, we can take 4 common here along with t, so we get 4 common, so when we take 4 common we get t square and this divided by 4 gives us 6t and this divided by 4 gives us minus 4 times 1 and then we have 14, 4 times 3 and 20 is 5, so 135. So that is what we get. Now when is car at rest that means velocity should be 0. So we equate this velocity to 0 now, right? And if we equate this velocity to 0, it's better to factor it further and then equate, right? So we can factor, we got 135, so we are looking for two numbers whose product is 135 and sum is minus 6. So those two numbers are 15 and 9. So, and we need a negative number bigger than the smaller. So if we, so we can get this as 4t, t square. I mean, we can write this as, or we can write straight away, right? We can write as t minus 15 times t plus 9, right? Since we know 15 times 9, minus 15 times 9 will be 135 and when you add them up you get minus 6 so that is how you'll factor it. Now this is equal to 0 if t equals to 15 or t equals to minus 9 but since time is greater than equal to 0 so we know that the body will be at rest at t equals to these three places 1, 2 and 3. So possible answers are 3 out of which 1 is out of our domain correct? So we can write when is car at rest, car is at rest when t equals to 0 seconds that means the initial position right. If I put t 0 here you will get 0 for s of t so that checks it right. Now or at t equals to 15 seconds. So during these two times car will be at rest correct. So that is how you get this. Now the second part is find the acceleration after 5 seconds. Now acceleration basically is derivative of velocity. So we can write a a t equals to v dash of t, right? Now this equation, uh, it is better to factor this particular, I mean it's better to find derivative from the very first equation, right? Because the power rule is very easy to apply. So instead of these two equations, let's use the very first one which is 4t cube minus 24t square minus 540t right that's also velocity equation which we started with so let's find derivative of velocity now so it'd be 12t square minus 48t and there'll be minus 540 now it says find the acceleration after 5 seconds. So what we can do now here is we can plug in 5 here and find our answer. Correct? That is one way we can do it at this particular stage. So we say acceleration at 5 seconds is equals to, we'll just plug in 5 here and use calculator to find the answer. So we get 12 
and 5 square is let me write 5 square itself for the time being and 48 times 5 minus 540 correct so let's use the calculator and figure out the answer so we get 12 times 25 equals to minus 48 times 5 minus 540 and we get minus 480 so the acceleration is minus 480 so which we can write as minus 480 and the units for acceleration is meters per second square right it's important to write units in all these cases right so acceleration where well, after 5 seconds is when t is 5 minus 480 meters per second now part c is at what time a motorist did apply brakes when he or she saw a stop sign now applying brakes means acceleration is decreasing right that is what it means so what we can do is we can find the zeros for acceleration and then see when the brakes are being applied correct so we will analyze the acceleration equation itself so we have this equation acceleration a of t is equals to we'll continue from this equation right so we have we have used this equation for velocity and the second one is for acceleration we'll use equation 2 so acceleration is 12 t square minus 48 t minus 543 so let's factor this now and analyze when were the brakes applied so we get 12 and when we take 12 common then we get t square here and 12 is 4 times 48 so 4 t and when you divide this by 12 what do you get you can use calculator and get your answer so it is 45 minus 45 so that is how you can factor first time taking 12 common and now you can apply product and sum so we are looking for two numbers whose product is minus 45 and whose sum is minus 4 so those two numbers are 9 and 5 correct so when you do 9 and 5 you get your product correct of minus 45 so it is 12 and since this number minus is bigger so 15 times I mean 9 times 5 9 will be minus right so minus t minus 9 times t plus 5 correct that is what we get to factor it now when is acceleration 0 that is what we'll find so acceleration is 0 when we'll equate this right at either t equals to 9 or t equals to minus 5 now t equals to 9 is in our domain not 5 so at t equals to 9 we have 0 acceleration that means the brakes were being applied at t equals to 9 right so we get our answer that the motorist applies the brake when t is equals to 9 now another way to confirm this is that we can see what is happening to acceleration around this time 9 right so what we will do here is we'll try to analyze it in this fashion so we have acceleration here so at t equals to 9 let's say this is 9 we'll take a test value before and after 9 correct so in the duration before 9 we, we have minus 5 the other factor right so acceleration is basically 12 times t minus 9 times t plus 5 right if you take a test value here on the left side of 9 let us say 7 and on the right side of 9 let us say 11 in that case what happens if I write 7 here then acceleration becomes negative do you see that if I write 7 then 7 minus 9 is a negative number so this becomes negative and if I write 11 then this becomes positive so you can see from here that the acceleration is negative that is going down and velocity and acceleration is positive after that so at this point acceleration is I mean at this point the acceleration is zero right now let's analyze velocity graph now if you see the velocity pattern which is 
factor form is right here. So the velocity is given as, let me write down velocity equation. We'll use the factored equation of velocity, which is, so we have Vt equals to 4t times t minus 15 times t plus 9, right? So let's analyze velocity position. So in velocity graph, what you'll find is that if we have a value less than 7, right? Let us say here, then velocity is negative, right? If I have less than 7, then velocity is negative. So in this portion, velocity is negative. But if I have 11, then also velocity is negative. Do you see that? Velocity is negative here also. So what do you see here is that both velocity and acceleration are having the same signs. When both are having same signs, then the object is speeding. Do you see that? So same sign means the object is speeding. And at 9, what happens? At 9, acceleration becomes positive, right? In this case, and they have opposite signs. So when they have opposite sign, they are slowing down. And this region, they are speeding. Do you understand? So before 9, the car is speeding. And after 9, the car is slowing down. And therefore, at 9, the brakes were applied. So that is the reason that we say the brakes were applied at t equals to 9 seconds. Right? So, so that, is, that is the point when the brakes are applied. I hope you understand this reasoning. It's kind of very important to understand this reasoning at times. Only this may be the part of a question. Explain the portion or explain the time when the car was speeding or when the car was slowing down. So for that part, which is not being asked at present here, this explanation is extremely important. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.